Hello everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to this lecture series of DSCH. So in previous video, we saw how to design a decoder and we simulated that and we realized how a decoder, 2 is to 4 decoder works. Okay, so uh, in previous video, uh, we used two inputs that is only A and B. Alright, so now in this video, I am going to talk about another signal that is the enable signal. That is another input that is enable input and it acts as a control signal. Alright, that is whenever enable is high, only then uh, the decoder will work, otherwise the decoder will not work. Alright, so that means there will be a third signal here, like this, okay, and this will be the name of that signal, will be enable, and only when that is high, that is when this enable is high, then only the system will work, otherwise the system will not work. Alright, so now, as we see, we have a third input uh, that is enable. So now what we need is we need uh, instead of two input AND gate, AND gate, we need a three input AND gate. All right. So I will just delete all these two input uh, AND gates. And here, instead of that, I am going to uh, give three inputs AND gate. All right. So here we can see here, this is our first three input AND gate. This is our second free input AND gate. That's the third one. And that's the final one. Alright. So now in these three input AND gates, I'm leaving the final input. Alright. That is for all the AND gates, the final input is left. So I will just connect the LEDs back. Now, here, why I'm leaving this back? Because I'm going to connect uh, this uh, with the enable. Alright. So here I am going to connect all of these with this enable signal. Alright. So now what I am actually doing is that this enable is connected to all the AND gates. Now uh, if you know the truth table, let us see. Let's see a truth table for a three input. All right, that is three input AND gate. So here it is A, B, C, and let's say it is Y. All right, so when we can start as like this, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. All right, and this should be 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, Consider these two inputs, that is, uh, these are this A and B, and now C as enable. So what will happen if we see the truth table, let me use black color here. So the inputs of C can either be 0 or 1. Okay, so now here, Alright, uh, it is not changing the color anyways. So now when we see, uh, we can see here what will be the output that is y will be 0. Here in this case, y will again be 0. Alright, in this case also y will be 0. In all the cases basically, uh, y will be 0. And in this case, uh, in the final case, y will, y will be 1. Alright, so now uh, here you can see that once in this case, in this 1 1 case, the y will be 1. So here what is actually happening? So here what is actually happening is that uh, uh, instead, uh, you can see here in this case also, A and B both are 1. Okay, that is both the inputs are 1. Still the output is 0. Why? Because this C is 0. That is, uh, this C is for enable. Okay, that is, uh, let's write E in. Okay, so here, when only when this enable is 1, the output we get is 1. Alright, similarly, uh, since we have enable input for all the cases, so this is for Y0, similarly for Y1, and for Y2, and for Y3. So what will happen in this case, you can see here, for uh, the 0, 0, uh, Y0 is, when we talk about let's say 
uh, let us delete all these outputs. So now we have uh, the inputs and the enable signal. So what and we will be seeing uh, the behavior of this y0, y1, y2, y3. So now you can see here uh, when uh, a and b both are 0, uh, what is our output? y0 is, y0 is always a dash b dash. Okay, that is uh, y0 should be 1. It should be 1. However, this enable is 0. So now what is happening? Uh, a, uh, we are getting output as a dash b dash into e. So that's why this becomes 0. And in this case, when enable is 1, only then this becomes 1. Similarly, here, uh, in, in next case, this y1 is, uh, y1 becomes, even, even being uh, 1, uh, y1 being a dash b, it becomes 0. And when only, the, only when the enable is 1, uh, the output becomes 1. So what is actually happening? that we had this thing that is yeah so we had this as our outputs but now the output changes and it becomes y0 as a dash b dash e e uh, i'm using for enable y1 is equal to a dash b e y2 is equal to a b dash e and y3 is equal to a b and e so uh, what is actually uh, happening you can see here uh, all these terms are getting this e enable and when e is equal to 1 you can see it will just uh, when e is equal to 1 it will follow the simple land grid property that is anything uh, into 1 is equal to any, that uh, input so that is when a dash b uh, and e is 1 into 1 will be equal to a dash b. Alright, so similarly when this is 0, so when uh, let's say e is 0, e is equal to 0, what will happen is that uh, let's say we have a dash b dash and e is 0, so we have that into 0, so everything will become 0. So that's why it is happening, uh, it is going to work as a control signal. Alright, so here we are going to use this enable as a control signal and I have attached this enable. So now uh, let us run the program and see if it is working or not. So uh, we are going to run this simulation and we can see here even after uh, turning on the inputs uh, that is pressing these buttons, uh, there is no output since enable is zero. So the moment I chose enable as one, we can see it is working perfectly fine as it was working before. All right. So here you can see when the enable is one, all these control signal for these three input and gates is getting one. And now uh, whenever we change the inputs, it is working as it was working before. All right. So here uh, we can change this also as a dash b dash e and a dash b e similarly a b dash e and here a b and e all right so this is how a three input uh, sorry not three input a two is to four decoder with enable signal works all right now what was the actual purpose of this uh, to tell you the working of this enable signal uh, was that because we are going to use it in further circuits now what we are going to do is first of all I will delete these boxes. Okay, I hope you all remember that uh, we were able to create the schematic, create the symbol. All right, first of all I am going to save this. Now what we will do is we will uh, going we will be going to save this uh, two is to four decoder, this one uh, uh, with the enable signal. Uh, as a, we are going to uh, save this as a symbol. That is we are going to create a symbol of the for this. Okay, so we'll go to file and schema to new symbol. Okay, and here we can change the order. So here, this will be our uh, symbol. That is this uh, A, B and E enable. And that is Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3. These are the outputs. Alright, and we will be saving it 
here. So let's save it into examples, no problem. So we will save it here, 2 is to 4 decoder. And I'm going to write symbol as well. All right. So this is how we will be creating this symbol. And now we are going to click OK. OK, so file and we are going to uh, let's open it. First of all, create a new file. And now let us open this symbol. Now let's see, we have saved it, we have saved it. Okay, uh, there was some changes in it. Yeah, so this is our symbol. And here, let's test it first of all. Okay, I will be using these LEDs. So now let's run the simulation and yeah, it is working perfectly fine. Okay, so we have successfully created the symbol. Now the purpose of the symbol was that now what we will be doing is using this 2 is to 4 decoder, we are going to create a 3 is to 8 decoder. All right. Yes, you heard it right. That is uh, using this 2 is to 4 decoder, we'll be creating a 3 is to 8 decoder. And since if we have used the uh, use that circuit which we have made, it would have become a little messier. All right, so uh, we are not going to make that three to eight decoder in this video. I will save that for the next video. So uh, uh, the purpose of this video was to show you how to create a symbol and how to use the enable signal. All right. Now uh, when we will make the three to eight decoder, we will understand what was the actual need. Of that enable signal okay that is why we needed that act uh, that enable signal okay so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video